notice that we have started collecting we have almost actually finished collecting the yellow uh, fraction how do i know that all of the yellow has come out if you carefully observe the glass wool and if you want to hold a white background here you notice the difference between the white color here and the slightly yellow color of this fraction so you want to continue to elute till all of this slight yellow fraction is collected into fraction 1 beaker okay also at that time the glass wool will look really white like it did when we began to do the separation so as soon as the yellow disappears we can change it to the intermediate beaker and what else do we do we change the polarity of the solvent whenever you are doing column chromatography which involves the changing of the solvent that is from hexane to hexane ethyl acetate mixtures you do not want to change the polarity in a drastic fashion that is the reason why i am going from hexane to 10 to 1 hexane ethyl acetate and then 1 to 1 hexane ethyl acetate 1 to 1 hexane ethyl acetate is obviously 50 50 ethyl acetate and hexane much more polar than the hexane whereas 10 to 1 would be 10 percent of ethyl acetate which makes it slightly more polar than hexane so we will change from hexane to 10 to 1 first and then 1 to 1 we are getting closer to eluting all of the yellow component okay so if you think you don't see any yellow then we are ready to switch to 10 to 1 hexane ethyl acetate mixture you can use the same dropper because this was used for hexane it's okay to use it for 10 to 1 and again 10 to 1 is not quantitative it is about 10 to 1 so if you want to use 10 to 1 hexane ethyl acetate from next time it is just fine and at that time you want to change the beaker to the one that is labeled 2 in which we will collect the intermediate also if you think there is any crystals sticking on to the tip of the column in this case I don't notice any crystals sticking but if there are any crystals sticking on to the tip of the column you can take a little bit of the solvent and just carefully squirt that will make the crystals re-dissolve in the solvent and it will go into our beaker okay so we are almost ready to change the beaker going to change the beaker to the intermediate fraction make sure that the tip of the column is inside the beaker now let us fill the column with 10 to 1 hexane ethyl acetate You already started noticing that the orange one started to go down it was not budging when we were eluting it with only hexane but now that I have changed this eluting solvent to 10 to 1 hexane ethyl acetate which made it more polar the fraction due to the orange component has started going down and again when the band orange this orange band is about a centimeter and a half above the sand level you want to change the fraction containing beaker to the one that is labeled 3 so I will have it ready here to change notice that the orange band is getting closer to the sand it's about a centimeter and a half or two centimeters above the sand level there was a clear cut white layer in between which told me that there was a good separation between the yellow fraction and the orange fraction so I am going to change the beaker to beaker number 3 that is for our last fraction 
okay at this point also when i want to refill the solvent i am going to change the solvent to 1 to 1 hexane ethyl acetate okay let us bring this down and this elution will be much faster than the elution of the first fraction notice the orange color already in the liquid that is getting out of the column that is definitely the reason why we say we should start collecting the fraction when it is even about a centimeter and a half above the sand you do not actually see what is happening inside the column 